Bitwarden finally released support for passkeys, and it's available for every plan, including the free plan. This feature is going to allow you to log into online applications so much faster. A report from Okta, a leading identity provider, found that users who use passkeys can log in 125% faster than those who use traditional passwords. This is gonna leave you more time to do whatever it is you wanna do. Oh, and it's more secure. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Bitwarden so you can log in faster than ever. Before we begin, let's just get a precursor on what passkeys are. And thankfully, I already have a video for this, so let's check it out. Passkeys are based on public key cryptography. This takes something that you have, which is a private key, and only you have, and creates a public key which you can provide to websites to allow this authentication back and forth. While historically this is used for encryption, you can use this to validate who you are as an individual because you have to use the private key, which is something only you have. The private key and the public key are mathematically connected so that they can validate that it is you who created that public key in the first place. This is what allows you to securely log in without using a password. In fact, the websites may not even have to store a password because all they would have is your public key. And if an attacker were able to get access to that public key, they wouldn't be able to do anything with that maliciously. If you want the full deep dive, I'll put a link in the description below for the full video on what passkeys are and all the nitty gritty details on how they work. Now, the type of passkeys that Bitwarden supports is known as synchronized passkeys. This means that it can sync between all your different devices. Now, this is much more convenient for you because you can log in from all your different devices using Bitwarden, but the downside here is it's less secure than what's known as a device-bound passkey. A device-bound passkey is just a passkey that can only work on one of your devices, so more secure, but less convenient. Now, because it's synchronized passkeys, it's very important that you lock down your Bitwarden account, but thankfully, I have a ton of videos on this that I'll put in the description below, so after you learn how to use passkeys, just make sure that you are locking down your account so it's as secure as possible, meaning your passkeys are gonna be just as secure. Now, I'm assuming that you've already set up Bitwarden. If you haven't, make sure you check out my other tutorial to get started with that first. Then you can jump into the passkeys. Just a level set, you can see I've got my Bitwarden vault all set up and I just have some stuff from a previous setup I've done here. Now, the most important thing is that you're going to need that Bitwarden browser extension, so make sure you install that. To test out how to set up passkeys, I'm gonna go over to webauthn.io. Now, for our purposes, I just like this because it simulates what it's like to set up a passkey on a web application. For you, when you're logging into any other websites that you wanna set up passkeys for, it has to be supported by the website first of all, but you would just follow the same exact steps that I'm going to show you here today. So to get started, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to type in a username and then I'm going to click register. Again, this is simulating what it would be like on a website. Now you can see here, it says you do not have a matching login for this site. Save passkey as a new login. This is because I've never set this up on this site before. So it's prompting me to do just that. So I'm going to click on save passkey as a new login. And you can see here, it says success. Now try to authenticate. That's literally all you need to do for these other websites. You're just setting it up and then that's it. It's syncing straight to Bitwarden's vault. So to authenticate, I'm just going to go ahead and click on authenticate here. This is gonna be specific to the website that you're trying to log into. It's already mapped between the website URL and what you saved in the Bitwarden vault. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. And then you can see I'm logged in. It's literally that quick. So let's go over to our Bitwarden vault now and just see what gets created. So it's just another entry here, but if you go and click on it, you can see there's no password that's created, not even a username, because all that information is stored within that passkey. You don't need to do anything else. So when we say that passkeys are more secure than passwords, it's because there is no password. There's nothing for the attacker to try to steal and then log in. And as long as you're securing access to your Bitwarden vault, that passkey is gonna stay nice and cozy tucked away in that secure vault. Now there's some important things that you need to know about using passkeys, and it's mainly around just how far adoption is for websites. What you'll find in most cases is that you're first gonna to have to set up a username and a password before you can set up the passkey. It's just the state of things right now. Now, it doesn't really matter all that much because once you create it and you switch over to just using the passkey, you're gonna be in a much safer position. Just remember, once you have the passkey, there's no reason to use your password. So just don't do it. One thing to keep in mind with Bitwarden is you can only save one passkey per login item. 
So it can get a little bit kludgy if you have multiple accounts, say for like Google, and you wanna save passkeys there. So if we go to webauthn.io and just pick a different username to try to register, it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna save it to webauthn.io? And I say, sure, save passkey. But then it's gonna tell me, hey, do you wanna overwrite the passkey, which I don't wanna do. So to get around that, I just go in and I clone a login and it's gonna tell me right here that the passkey will not be copied, which is good, we don't want it to be. And then I'll just go ahead and click save. You'll see it's gonna have that same URL there and be done. Just keep a note on that clone there. Now I'm gonna go back to webauthn.io and I'm gonna go ahead and register a new account. And now it's gonna say, choose a login to save this passkey to. And I'm gonna go and click on the clone now and save the passkey there. Now, when I go to log in, it's gonna automatically see that I have the username there as Teach Me Cyber 2 and it's gonna pick up the clone. So I'll just go and click confirm there and I'm logged in. Now, if I go back and just type in Teach Me Cyber, that was the first one we set up, authenticate there, see it's going back and picking up the original one. That's because the passkeys are storing the actual URL and the username that's tied to it. Another thing to be mindful of, when I recorded this, Bitwarden did not have support for your mobile app and passkeys. So, you're not gonna be able to use or save them from your mobile application, which is a little bit of a bummer because it kind of removes the whole versatility thing. So just keep that in mind. Bitwarden is working on a solution for that and they do expect that to come out at some point. So just stay tuned for that because it is on the horizon. A bit scarier here is that Bitwarden is working on the ability to import and export passkeys. Now the import feature is great because if I have passkeys stored somewhere else, I can import them there and then they'll become synchronized. So that's cool. I don't really know how that's gonna work for them, but they're working on that now. So we'll see what happens there. The export feature is what's a little bit scarier because the whole point of passkeys is to keep them secure. And so I could see some future where a hacker could try to export those passkeys out for their own purposes, but Hopefully Bitwarden is thinking about this and is gonna do this in a secure fashion if they end up doing it at all, we don't know. Now you might be asking yourself what devices support passkeys or what web applications support passkeys? And that's the right question to be asking. Bitwarden has a GitHub repo that answers this for you. So you can see that for the different platforms that support it, so you've got Microsoft, it's gonna work with the Edge browser. Google, it's gonna work on Windows, Mac OS, Android. Uh, and Apple, it's gonna work on all the different things there as well. You don't see Linux supported there, and that's pretty common. We don't see a lot of support for passkeys on Linux just yet. As for websites, we can scroll down and you can see a nice little list here that has a bunch of different websites that are gonna support it. Again, it's early innings right now, but this is gonna evolve over time and more websites are gonna adopt this. And I truly believe this is gonna become a standard in the next four to five years. And that's it for passkeys. So you can see it's a very straightforward way. Bitwarden does a lot of the heavy lifting by just dealing with the prompts. The hard hardest thing for you is going to be to figure out which websites actually support passkeys and then to navigate through their application to see how you can set that up. Once you find the page to set it up, Bitwarden takes over and it's super easy. And then moving forward, you can log in so much faster. If you liked what you saw here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are always dropping more information on how to secure Bitwarden or other password managers. And we're keeping up with how you can keep your online accounts safe and secure. We'll see you in the next video.